Hi Leo, this is your reading for a romance reading for June 2020 and welcome back. I hope you're safe and well and I hope you've looked at the weekly uh, video. Um, then you most probably have heard that there will be a competition shortly in the near future and that you can win a brand new deck this Shadow Tarot uh, Shadowlands Tarot Deck by Monica Bodursky, which will, you will get also a book with. And it is really explicit and down to detail. It's easy to learn and the cards are fun. And also I'm giving away this deck, the Vice Versa deck, uh, one of my decks that I've used, but it's uh, in good condition as I have so many decks I haven't got any more room to keep them so from time uh, sometimes I will uh, do something like this to also keep the uh, tea room exciting and refreshing and uh, interact with my cyber angels I'm using the Shadowland Tarot and I'm also using the Enchanted Dream Tarot uh, by Yasmin uh, Westwood and the Shadowlands are by Monica Bodursky, like I said, and the Romance deck and the Angel Feather deck from Michelle. Okay, they're all out there, the reviews on these decks, and there's lots more decks that I've reviewed because I've got a couple of new decks. If you've seen the weeklies, then you will have seen all the decks that I have new. Okay, let's get started. I hope you will uh, enjoy the competition and I will be putting out a video in the website and uh, I will keep updates in the community on YouTube to let you know when the competition is going to start etc etc and what the competition will be all about it's going to be great fun and it will it has to do with spirituality of course and um, I'm not going to say any more just keep you all suspended okay uh, if you want an, if you would like uh, sorry uh, a reading with me or an extensive reading then go to the the website you know the usual routine um, if you are a cyber angel and if you're new have a look underneath the video there you can find information or click in the right, top right hand corner uh, just there uh, on the white dot and it will take you to the website you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. I usually use Facebook besides YouTube and Instagram. I put a, a, a daily card up there usually. Okay, so let's get started. I love this deck and the first card that you've got is the Wheel of Fortune and it looks like snakes and ladders. <laughs> And I love the humor in this. What goes round comes round. Look at them. One is going down and one is going up. The hare is going up and the cat is going down or the dragon. So the karma card is also <coughs> my card for karma. So if you've done good, you'll get it back threefold. If you've done bad, you get it back threefold. And it's same if somebody else has been bad to you or nice. And the Wheel of Fortune also means moving home or going on holiday, uh, going up next level, like you just have to have the dice and then you go up a next step. <laughs> and that could be in a relationship, of course, or at work. But since this is a romance reading, I think um, most of you will take another step upwards in your relationship. Or you might be meeting somebody. Uh, as this is a 10 and it also means an ending and a beginning something has come full circle so you've got the world in your hand okay so if you are if you've been uh, hooked up with somebody for years and years on end you might go on holiday or do something refreshing to keep the relationship all exciting and fresh like a new beginning boom you might get a new idea 
you've got the Emperor and the Emperor represents um, Aries so there might be an Aries around you or interested in you and your relationship with the Aries could go up a next level or you might be seeking advice from a professional the um, since it's the Emperor um, and the Emperor also reminds me of um, the high event, but the Emperor is higher than the kings and he rules his uh, countries um, better or even you know yeah well he's got m more countries um, as he's the Emperor he has fought to gain much more so perhaps you might also seek somebody somebody's advice from an institution or a municipality this could be a registry office this could be a priest and this could be that you are arranging a wedding or you might go, uh, uh, go and see a lawyer and to get a contract a marriage contract a different type of marriage certificate but saying that you are married or a partner of okay so that's what I mean by he could uh, in the olden days the Emperor gave permission for maidens to be married to such and such and he made also people lords and uh, barons and I don't know what the knight so you might be seeking permission to get married this could also be a father figure asking the father for the hand very old-fashioned but it is still done and it is quite romantic I think to ask the maiden's hand or <laughs> in nowadays it could be vice versa the girl asking the father for the hand of his son <laughs> I love it and you know this deck does bring out the humor in me and this deck is romantic I think and I love these two themes and I've put them together and you can make it you can even make a, a humorous Dex romantic you know it's the meaning of the card that also counts and my feeling of course <clears throat> you've also got temperance in the second week number 14 you might feel out of whack so because that becomes a five and temperance is a Sagittarius so you're trying to keep balance perhaps you're trying to keep balance in the relationship with a Sagi okay well and we've got more fire here we've got the nine of wands perhaps you're going through tough times with a Sag or an Aries they're both fire signs so fire is a very prominent okay you've got um, a very very uh, uh, well you've got a very fiery reading and uh, that means action and there's a lot of action going or creativity there could be creativity in the relationship and there could be so much passion going on and perhaps your wish is to make it into a permanent relationship you're a fire sign as well Leo so uh, this could be with a Sagittarius or an Aries uh, you've been through tough times but you're taking perhaps you're taking a rest now because you can see she is resting before she goes on to a new start because the nine is a finish that could be a finishing of a face and you are ready for the next face going upwards perhaps marriage or contracting your relationship because a nine is an ending and there's a new beginning and there's a lot of passion there and you you two have to be careful that you don't burn out um, perhaps you are fighting uh, a lot because you've been on a lockdown together and you need both of you need space you need um, you need food for thought you are a type of person that needs food for thought so you uh, to have new ideas and put them in, into practice and taking action to that and it is going to come look at that you've got the ace of wands wow new beginnings 
this could be a new idea that you're putting into practice with your partner or potential partner this can be on your own as well but it can also be with an uh, Aquarian because the page of swords is Aquarian but don't exclude Libra or Gemini Gemini is the king Libra is the queen but um, when I get those cards I also say don't forget Aquarius and air makes fire burn look how much fire you've got here who you are going for it and the idea might be from an Aquarian and you are putting it into practice okay could also be from a Sagittarius or an Aries like I said but make sure that you know your boundaries and you know their boundaries don't get burnt uh, um, burnt okay uh, keep it steady and slowly but yeah keep the passion going by all means it's great fun to have a passion but make sure that there's also a, a, a proper foundation you can't keep on going on and on and on because you'll get burnt out then you have the death and that is Scorpio so there's also that could also be a Scorpio around you and the overall energy is the king sorry is the king of cups so Scorpio cancer uh, and Pisces but the king of cups is cancer so you've also got cancer and Scorpio here so do 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 lots of people in your reading amazing a lot of individual uh, zodiac signs I mean wow I'll repeat it again Aries Sagittarius Aquarius Scorpio and Cancer or Scorpio or Pisces and the death card means transition and look we've got a butterfly here as well you are in the second week you are in a transformational period and this might um, go through the third week as well up to the fourth week there will be a new beginning wow 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 like I said in the second week you might feel out of whack um, but don't worry um, because the divine and the angels have your back you've got the five of Pentacles you might feel left out of a group or left out um, uh, in family um, perhaps um, you might uh, think that the potential person or um, does not recognize you or um, hasn't carried that that don't carry the you in their heart but they do but they're very very busy with all this action going on and ideas and by the way the page also brings news so it will also bring clarity so it will become clear to you how they feel about you especially um, if it is uh, somebody um, that wants to get married taking the relationship up to the ne next level and if you've been married for a long long time then you are already uh, aware that you mean a lot to them and they're passionate about you and they love you okay you you know perhaps you need to step out and get your own thing started your own idea your own action if you are not active and that is uh, what um, I believe a relationship should be like you should have your own little life and they should have their life and your life together and that's what you call a relationship that also keeps a relationship fresh and caring and nurturing so new ideas bring them into action that's the message here okay and be nurturing show that you care show that you care and open your heart and your solar plexus if you um, um, because in the pentacle of four you see all these pentacles her ideas are closed off okay her heart and solar plexus closed off and again with um, 
and she's holding it uh, to around her knees so she's closed herself off this could be you a lady or um, a lady or a man it doesn't matter who you are somebody's closed off in the relationship but I think it could be you a Leo that's closed off and look at here you've got a chariot underneath this card so cancer is prominent if you open up your heart you will be going onwards and upwards the chariot is there waiting for you but you have to come into action okay so you you are going to get news um, and it could be legal news legal documents so you might be getting married taking up to the next level authority so that could be the registry office so for some of you that could be a new beginning and that would be the next step in the relationship getting paper signed or <coughs> uh, putting your new ideas together and uh, putting them into action this reading does talk of a lot of action now you've had difficult times but so long you are clear you communicate clearly like the uh, air signs do and use your wisdom that's what they also stand for clarity justice then justice will be done and you know you don't have to feel out of whack you just have to be in balance to open up stay optimistic about your love life okay make an offer so know their boundaries and know your own boundaries and slow down especially with an air sign now um, with the same sword like the same element um, it's make or break we all know that well if it's made it will stay there forever so you know and you know what you are like the other fire signs are like that as well in a lot of ways you can't generalize but a lot of your um, talents or things that are uh, renowned for air si uh, fire signs are the same as yours Leo so try to think in their situation try to place yourself in their situation so perhaps you need to take time out and think about it before you uh, feel left out join into their game make an offering okay she's making an offering here to the gods so make an offering to them say look I know we've been we love each other we're passionate about uh, the things that we do we're passionate about the ideas that we get but can we take one at a time finish one before we start on to the next one because I'm getting tired and that is being burnt out you're doing too much at the same time you can't run before you walk remember that you can't run before you walk and now we're going on to the angel feather and that is the last card of the reading and you have the brown angel feather a practical approach a practical approach okay now that like I said you need to approach something uh, with practicality so take it easy take it slow okay the angels advise you to focus on practicalities at this moment one step at a time now I did not read this card when I said you can't walk before you run because I got this and I said also you're going up a next step so that word is in your reading also quite prominent one step at a time <coughs> the brown angel feather is presented to you as a symbol of grounding the color brown is a mixture of three primary colors red yellow and blue the angels suggest that it is important to ground yourself each day visualize a grounding structure coming from your feet and going right down through the earth finally connected open up your chakras and that's what you do when you do meditation grounding yourself 
being one with the universe. Finally, connect the grounding structure into the very center of the earth. The structure you visualize could be a tree, root, system, or anchors or chains. Anything that you connect with personally. This simple exercise will keep you feeling stable and secure at all times during the day. The angels know when you are grounded. Your concentration and decision making process will improve. Consequently, your calm and reliable approach will put others at ease in stressful situations. How beautiful is that? Like I said, talk to your partner with new ideas, slow down, uh, converse about your ideas with each other, uh, take the practical approach, um, putting ideas into action with all this fire going on. It will, uh, you might feel left out because you're doing something differently um, than others with your partner but it might even bring in some money okay life is going to improve wow so stay optimistic and when you're calm they stay calm then there will be a good communication you won't have any quarrels you won't have that heavy feeling for I must do this I must do that I don't want this I don't want that look at what you have and what you can do now you can wear tiger's eye and um, petrified wood and bronzite to help you meditate contemplate and evaluate the situation you can just carry it around with you it's the energy of the stone that will support you okay and the angel is angel Sandalphon the guardian of the earth and archangel Uriel he's also the angel of earth and that's the root chakra the red color so wear red if you like okay I think it's a beautiful reading and I that they are pretty amazing this month so I hope you've enjoyed it too Leo and if you've got any questions then come into the live and ask them and give a donation or get an extended reading. I also do um, compatibility readings. So have a look at that on the website. I hope you will stay safe and enjoy yourself and keep yourself in balance. And I hope to see you in the life. And if not, I'll see you in the next video. Take care and please share and like and subscribe.